Now, we are a few days away from the return of the PBL, and it's shaping up to be an exciting conference. Woo. And with us tonight are a pair of cool smashers who represent the country at the 32nd Southeast Asian Games. Again, welcome to the show, Kyla Tienza and Fino myself, Eliza Valdez. Ladies, first welcome. First time. First time to studio. <laughs> Na rin ni Zoom. Oh my, what have we done wrong in the past? <laughs> Na ngayon lang kayo pumunta dito. Or what we, uh, have we done right recently? Yes, para, exactly. Para pumunta sila ngayon. I don't know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm really amazed na ngayon lang. But and it, I think she was one of our first guests on the show. Overall. Back, back, oh, wow. Oh, oh see, wow. see oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. So a long, long time long ago. Long time ago. A lot has changed. Finally, welcome years after. Pero Lai, let's start off first with that Southeast Asian Games experience. Kasi it, I was there. We talked there. It was an unbelievable unbelievable experience because of the environment, because mm. of the fact that the fans were probably the closest they've ever been to you. Can you describe to us how it felt to represent the Philippines in that particular event? Oh, wow. Every time we represent the country for the SEA Games, ibang iba talaga yung bakaramdam. Most especially siguro this Cambodia uh, na SEA Games because that was the first time na ganun kadami yung mga Pinoy's na pumunta and sumaparta sa amin. Mm. And we really thought our first game was against Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. We thought we're really expecting there were a lot of mga taga Cambodia na will watch the game. Right. But apparently, they were all Filipinos and we were so parang proud din talaga na masabi na talagang sinusuportahan nila yung mga bawat atleta during the SEA Games. Kyla, kinakausap ka ba ni Eliza nung, uh, <laughs> nung nalaman mo na flag bearer siya at uh, uh, you know, the honor of uh, being a flag bearer? And I want to ask you, Eliza, about that. That honor, I know. Pero to be serious, Kyla, you know you have close kayo. You've been together for a long time, and nag magkasama kayo sa Philippine team flag bearer pa yung kasama mo. I mean that whole experience, kwento mo sa. It's an honor. We don't really talk about all the things. We don't. Eh, nang siya pinansin. Siya, sobrang nakaproud po na maging teammate ko sa atin lahat. Ayaw ko ba? Ayaw ko. Unang dating ko po talaga sa Krimay, as in wala po akong idea kung sino po yung maging teammate ko. So, nung nakasama ko po sila, ati Lai, ati Gia, ayun, sobrang naging proud po ako sa kanila, sa mga achievements nila, and sobrang naka-overwhelm din na maging teammate. And Lai, flag bearer? I mean, that's something that we will never ever experience. But, but yeah. tell, tell us, tell us about that whole experience. Now na nat natapos na, no? tapos ka na dun sa event. Siyempre, iba yung high nung ginagawa mo yon, or maybe days after. Yeah. But, you know, months after, how, how, how do you describe that feeling? Honestly, siguro hindi rin talaga siya magsisink in unless na hindi na ako naglalaro or hindi na ako athlete. Kasi mm. when, when, until na naglalaro ako, hindi ko talaga mag-grasp yung, <coughs> yung emotions na paano ko sa sabi na sobrang proud and sobrang honored ako to to actually hold that flag wow, yeah. alongside with all these great athletes. Of course. So naiyak na. Iyak <laughs> pala dito sa game. Kala pa ba fun niya sa dagi? <laughs> Wala pa tayo sa second segment. Oh, just you wait. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Then mm. pero it's such an honor and I would never I'll take every chances I I, I get hindi talaga pag tinawag tayo ng, ng Pilipinas mm. and our country to represent the, the country for, for the flag. Mm. I won't skip a, yeah. a heart. Yeah, we could see. She's actually getting teary-eyed ah. teary here. <laughs> tama na, tama na. Tama, tama na. na. Sige, lipa muna tayo kay Kai. Kay Kaila muna tayo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kaila, huwag kaiiyak. Huwag kaiiyak. Pero Kaila, I think what was amazing when we were there, na-mention na nga ni Lai kanina, that the amount of Filipino fans present sa venue, ibang klase talaga. Uh, you go wherever overseas, normally may pocket of fans there sa venue, pero ito parang nasa, parang nasa Araneta ka lang eh. Parang nasa... Hometown, sa, sa, no? Oh, parang hometown support lang. Eh. Ano mo sasabi mo sa, well, the OFW community, dyan sa Cambodia, especially knowing that you were representing them and halata, halata sobrang halata, that they missed just seeing um, all of you like. Um... Siguro yung first na naging reaction ko din talaga is sobrang na-shock po ako na ganun kadami sa Cambodia. And sobrang naka-inspire um, po na maglaro that time kasi puro Filipino fans mm. po yung nakikita. Kyla, we will end the segment with you and not just the SEA Games. Ano? Ang ganda nung run mo the last two to yes. three years. 
not just locally but internationally yes. diba grabe libero. exactly my point na yeah. you know the best libero uh, during the international competitions can you tell us how ha have you felt about your achievements from an international stage the last two years for, for Hanggang yourself? Hanggang ngayon po, di ko rin po. <laughs> di ko rin po Pwede ma... Pwede by the way. <laughs> <laughs> ano pala? <laughs> um, actually, until now po, parang hindi ko rin po siya na-absorb pa. Kasi nga, um, siguro, nandun pa po ako sa part na kailangan ko pa mag-improve every game, every year, every season. Mm. So, ayun, pero naka, ano naman po, nakatuwa naman na na recognize din yeah. po. Yeah. May validation. Yeah. Right? And oh. the best part about it is your teammates always celebrate yes, you. Mm -hmm. They always talk about you. Okay, dun tayo sa mas mahirap na segment. Ha, pagbalik natin. <laughs> Diyan lang kayo. Masiiyak pa yan.